he men on a dead man's chest, you ho ho, and a bottle of rum. Drink and the devil had done for the rest, you ho ho, and a bottle of rum. <laughs> My story begins in the year 1752, when I was barely 12 years old. My mother was a widow, and she kept the Admiral Benbow Inn. Captain Flint was downing rum in the parlour, his cutlass on the table in front of him, singing his usual song. I was standing at the door when I spied an old blind seaman tapping his way towards me. Will some kind person take my hand and lead me to the Admiral Benbow Inn? Here you are, sir. Thank you, boy. Now, take me in to Captain Flint. Upon my word, sir, he's such a fierce man. For your own safety, I dare not. Take me straight in, or I'll break your arm. Oh, uh, oh all right, sir. Uh, this way, sir. Mind the table. Captain, sir. Here's a friend for you. Uh, don't let him come near me, Jim. Do as I tell you, boy. Take his right hand by the wrist and put it in mine. That's it. That's it. There you are, Captain. A present for you. The black spot. Yes, Flint, the black spot. At last I found you, and my task is done. Good luck, Flint. The black spot. When you get that gym, you're done for. What's that writing on the other side? Ten o'clock. That's six hours. And they'll come for me, Jim, but they'll not get the chart. You take it, Jim. You take the chart and hide and... <laughs> the captain was suddenly seized with a fit, and he died at my feet. Mother and I searched his baggage for the money due to us for his lodging. And there, wrapped in oilskin, was the chart. We knew the buccaneers would come for the captain at 10 o'clock. So we left the inn and sought safety with Squire Trelawney and Dr. Livesey. Have you heard of this Captain Flint, Squire? Heard of him? He was the bloodthirstiest pirate that ever sailed. And this chart shows where he buried his treasure. Will it amount to much? It amounts to this. I'll fit out a ship in Bristol Dock, and I'll take you, Jim, and the doctor here, and we'll have that treasure if we search for a year. Within two months, we were headed out to sea aboard the good ship Hispaniola, with Captain Smollett in command. Blow the man down, Liz, blow the man down. Way, hey, blow the man down. Oh, blow the man down, Liz, blow him away. Oh, I was signed on as cabin boy. The crew were as villainous a bunch of cutthroats as you could wish to meet. But the one I came across most was the wooden-legged sea cook, Long John Silver. Jim Hawkins. <laughs> Come and have a yarn with John. Nobody more welcome than yourself, my son. Sit you down and hear the news. Now, here's Captain Flint. Captain Flint? Mm. I calls my parrot Captain Flint after the famous buccaneer. Pieces of eight. Pieces of eight. Now, that bird is maybe 200 years old, Jim Hawkins. And if anybody's seen more wickedness, <laughs> it must be the devil himself. He's seen a thing or two as Captain Flint. Jesus, I mean. Morning, mean of you. I seen a thing or two. He joined a band of pirates who was hiding in the wood. They had no eats for 40 days, and that me boy ain't good. So they ate the mate for curry and the cabin boy for pud. Stand by to go about. Yes, he's seen a thing or two. Morn of me to you, my friend. Morn of me to you. I'd grown to like Long John Silver and his yarns until one day when I'd climbed into a barrel to get some apples. I was just going to scramble out again when I heard voices. Here's what I want to know, Silver. How long are we going to stand off and on like a blessed bumboat? Israel hands. Your head ain't of much account, but you're able to hear, I reckon. So here's what I say. You'll speak soft, you'll keep sober, and you'll lay low until I gives the word. Aye, but when? That's what I say. 
When, by the powers, I'll tell you when. The moment I can manage, that's when. Captain Smollett will sail the ship for us. The squire and doctor will find the treasure and help us get it on board, and then... Then what? Well... <laughs> I'm an easy man, but duty is duty. When I'm in Parliament, I don't want none of them sea lawyers coming home unlooked for. Wait, is what I say. But when the time comes, kill. John, you're a man. Man ho! Man ho! There it is, Treasure Island. Now remember, lads, this is the lay of it. Here's to ourselves and hold your love. Plenty of prizes and plenty of duff. Thank you.